I give the floor to Her Excellency Ms. Shirley Aikor Bushwe, Minister for Foreign Affairs and Regional Integration of Ghana. Thank you, Madam President. I am pleased to participate in this open debate on the situation in the Middle East and commend Norway for its leadership on this crucial mat matter. I also thank the briefers for their briefing to the Council on the prevailing situation in the Middle East. Finding a lasting solution to the situation in the Middle East is a responsibility we cannot shake or ignore. This is not a challenge that would disappear one day without a collective commitment to dialogue between the parties and the support of the international community. We know that the consequences of inaction would be even more dire down the road. Your Excellencies, despite the several important interventions by the international community and the parties since the holding of the 1991 Madrid Conference, the objective of a peaceful and comprehensive settlement of the situation in the Middle East has, not, has continued to elude us. The unending suffering of the Israeli and Palestinian peoples and the prospect of a peaceful and prosperous Middle East compel us to be steadfast in the pursuit of this decades-long objective. The worsening security and humanitarian situation in the region amid the crisis of the global COVID-19 pandemic is alarming and calls for the renewed attention of the international community. This council must urgently address the question of how to revitalize effective and coordinated peace talks based on lessons learned, building upon past initiatives and exploring new possibilities through which Israel and Palestine can both realize their aspirations for normality opportunity for every Israeli and Palestinian, indeed for statehood. Ghana believes that a two-state solution with Israel and Palestine living peacefully side by side on the basis of pre-1967 borders remains a viable option for restoring lasting peace and stability in the region. Ghana therefore appreciates Norway's facilitation of the in-person ministerial meeting of the Ad Hoc Liaison Committee in November last year. We thank the donor community and international development partners for their commitment to support a meaningful and comprehensive settlement. Ghana commends the recent efforts of the Secretary General and the envoys of the Middle East Quartet to address critical concerns over the fiscal conditions in Palestine and the tense conditions in the West Bank, Jerusalem, and Gaza. Madam President, advancing the peace process requires regional and international actors to deploy the tools of diplomacy to build and sustain momentum around the recent high-level engagements. It also requires both sides to the conflict to overcome past mistrust, to work to rebuild trust and goodwill, and to engage their publics on a vision of peace that promises security and prosperity. None of this would be easy. The cost of not doing it would be harder. Ghana condemns all acts of terrorism, violations of human rights, and international humanitarian law by the parties. These actions exacerbate the humanitarian crisis while reminding the parties of their obligations under international law and the several resolutions of this council, we urge them to refrain from unilateral action that obstruct and undermine efforts aimed at achieving a comprehensive and just peace to the decades old conflict. We thank member states for their financial contributions to UMRA and urge increased support to reverse the critical funding deficit of the organization to enable it to continue its vital mission of supporting those affected by the conflict. We call on the Secretary General to facilitate a process that enables us to address the options for a more sustainable and predictable humanitarian funding for the Middle East. Excellencies, without the genuine commitment of the parties to the peace process, 
peaceful resolution of the conflict will continue to slip through our grasp. We therefore urge the parties to resume direct negotiations for a comprehensive and lasting peace in the spirit of cooperation and in good faith. Finally, I wish to express Ghana's commitment to support and facilitate the path to lasting peace in the Middle East region and underscore the need for cooperation and unified action among all member states and in particular this council. I thank you for your attention. I thank Her Excellency Ms. Butchway for her statement.